What is going on, guys? This is JWAX412. And why the fuck is shit like this always happening? Why the fuck is this shit never being talked about? Why do people sit back idly and watch shit play out and don't fucking say anything about it? We are here to talk about fucking Ubisoft and their bullshit support tweet. I need rings. Super Bowl size. I need a fine dime with some Super Bowl dots. You say you the truth, that's a Super Bowl lie. I flex on a nigga like a Super Swole guy. You come into the squad and you super gon' die. I make it look easy and I super don't try. It's funny, everybody always looking up to me, but I've always been a super short guy. Bye. If you do not know what I'm talking about, Ubisoft put out a tweet on their Ubisoft support Twitter. So not even their official Twitter, not their UK Twitter, the fucking Ubisoft support, you know, the one everybody fucking follows. And they say, I quote, we will be deactivating online services on some of our older titles on September 1st, 2022. You can find a list of titles, platforms, and impacts here, which goes to a link. And what we are brought to is a list of their what, decommissioning of online services, September 2022. Let's cool down, shall we? So the first game is Anno 2070. Never heard of it. PC. Unable to play multiplayer. Okay, so let's start by saying this. Unable to play multiplayer. I get that. Sometimes the online games only die off. The server is supported. The game's not popular, so it, it, it dies off. That is a risk you take when you buy an online multiplayer only game. You run the risk of losing multiplayer and in, and in turn lose the fucking game entirely. I get that. No problem there. Assassin's Creed 2. PC and PS3. Unable to play multiplayer, link use up accounts in game, yada yada. Okay. Assassin's Creed 3, PC, and PS3, we use Xbox 360. Okay, so that's where it gets fucking weird, right? This is where it gets fucking, this is where it confuses the fuck out of me. Assassin's Creed 3, you will be unable to play multiplayer, link use up accounts in game, or use online features. And here's the kicker. Additionally, the installation and access to downloadable content DLC will be unavailable. What the fuck? fuck are you talking about the installation and access to your dlc you paid for will be unavailable so i'll break that down for everybody's not sure what that fucking means that means if you bought dlc in the past i don't care if it's 2012 2018 fucking a week ago this shit on that date they set that dlc that you paid that money for will not be fucking available for you to even access even though you already fucking own it Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> oh! Let me repeat that. September 1st, 2022. If you bought DLC for these games, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Liberation, Driver San Francisco, Far Cry 3, Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands, Raven Legends, etc., you will not be able to access that DLC even though you bought it before. Your access to that DLC is gone entirely, and I do not understand why. Like I said, I get all my multiplayer, but how in the fuck do I lose access to DLC that I fucking paid for? That's way. Take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. It is July 6th. They gave us a whole fucking two months notice this was happening. That's right, two fucking months. They have a game on this list called Space Junkies. That's a VR online only game. That's going to cease to exist September 1st. And look at this shit. They're still selling this thing for $5. Special promotion offerings in 21 hours. Oh, I fucking bet. Oh, well, isn't that convenient? Special promotion. The game is 75% off for the next one day because it's going to be fucking gone. Cease to exist. And nowhere on the entire fucking page did it say that anywhere? You have to go to the reviews. The community is doing the job of saying, hey, don't buy this shit because September 1st, this game will be gone. You'll lose any fucking progress you had. You can no longer play this game ever again. But hey, they're still fucking selling it. Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? And the crazy part is, this game, Space Junkies, released in fucking March of 2019. So two goddamn years. And it goes on and on and on with this list. Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, will lose all of its DLC on September 1st. No longer playable, but guess the fuck what? They're sure as fuck selling it, and here's a trim starting notice. Buy Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, 80% off for the next 21 hours. I fucking wonder why, because nowhere on the goddamn page did it say this game's gonna be fucking not supported anymore! Those lines, goddamn time. 
wasting sons of bitches. Sons of bitches! You got the Persia franchise bundle. The Forgotten Sands Digital Deluxe Edition. Because of two exclusive skins, one map, the soundtrack that will no longer be accessible, but is still fucking selling it for $20. I can't stand this kind of shit. Ubisoft. All these fucking companies doing this kind of bullshit under the radar, on their goddamn support account. Who the fuck follows Ubisoft support? Not a lot of people. I think they have 500,000 followers. They not put the shit on the main account. They not put the shit on their main website. It is on their support account under the fucking radar. If it wasn't for, for a few slip people noticing this bullshit, nobody would ever know. Now, J-Wags, why are you so upset, right? There's older games. Who's really playing Assassin's Creed 2 DLC? That's not the fucking point. Though, I don't give a fuck if I don't play it, if I play this shit in 10, 15, whatever the fuck years. These games that they're uh, not supporting anymore are not that old to begin with. I think the oldest one is 2012. So that's only 10 fucking years ago. But I don't care if I paid a fucking dollar 10 years ago. Why in the fuck can I not access that DLC? It makes no goddamn sense. And for some reason, if you buy the Ezio collection, you still get all that DLC. And some people will say, well, just buy the Ex Ezio collection. And to that I say, fuck you. Why am I going to pay twice when I bought all this fucking DLC back then in the day and now I just fucking lose it, especially on PC? I can't fucking fathom it. That's way. Take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. So, yes, this is a big fucking deal, okay? This isn't no, no little shit. I'm not tripping for no reason. I'm not being no dramatic. This is the kind of shit they do all the time and they keep on getting away with it. It's going to get worse and worse and fucking worse if people lay down and don't say a goddamn thing about it. And their reason for this is on that little bullshit link. And they say, I quote, Closing the online services for some older games allow us to focus on resources on delivering great experiences for players who are playing newer or more popular titles. More popular like what? For your fucking stupid ass roller game? That's doing real well. What, Far Cry 6? The fuck are you working on, Ubisoft? What would these games being closed down, or these games, their DLC being unaccessible, possibly? How is that going to free up resources for you for your future titles? Suck. Get, get the fuck out of here. Let me guess, you gotta free up some resources for Skull and Bones, your new fucking failure. Guys, this is not a tiny problem, okay? This is a serious problem in the game community. This is a serious problem It's in general with developers. They think they can do this shit with this, this digital shit to where they can sell you shit and just fucking take it away anytime they want and they claim it's for your benefit. Oh, this is so we can, you know, focus on the new games. What fucking new games? What new games are people playing right now? What Ubisoft game is fucking you know, off the charts multiplayer-wise? I don't think fucking nothing. Nothing on top of my head. Don't fucking lie. I cannot for the life of me even just wrap my head around why the fuck would I lose DLC that I've already paid for? What the fuck does DLC have to do with anything? If you don't want to sell it anymore, fine. That way, because if you don't want to have people download anymore. But if, if somebody already fucking bought this DLC, why in the fuck can I not access it? I don't get it. That's way. Take a few steps back. To go you ain't got the answers, program. man. You ain't yeah. got the answers. Those are my thoughts on this fucking situation. I used to like Ubisoft a lot. Of course, I like Assassin's Creed. I bought the Assassin's Creed. They started to get too stale for me. Started to make too many of them. Same with their Far Cry series. I Far Cry 5, I enjoyed. Far Cry 6, I thought was ass. To me, if you ask me, Ubisoft's got stale. They got complacent. I want to see something new from them. And apparently, Skull and Bones is going to be that. I don't think so. But in this situation, Ubisoft is wrong. They are dead fucking wrong. It is scummy. The fact that they have not, not being transparent with this. And the fact that on the store pages as well, it says nowhere these games are going to be fucking gone. Or the DLC will be gone. September 1st, 2022. It's untruthful. It's dece deceitful. It's disrespectful. It's dishonest. It's so many things. But one thing it for sure it is not is right. That's it for me this time, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. All that bullshit. Talk to you guys next time. Thanks.